This is a Beko model DUT25401. What's nice about this, this comes in white, black, or stainless steel. It's got great features. One particular that I'm a fan of is the half load. What the half load is, if you only have a half a load of dishes, go ahead and run it. It's still gonna clean half a load. It's gonna be energy efficient. It's very quiet. One of the quietest dishwashers under $600. Inside, it's going to be stainless steel. So with the stainless steel, you're going to maintain that temperature. It's going to be quieter. What else is nice is that this unit has an adjustable top rack. So as we look on the left and right side, there's these purple tabs. So what we do is we just push in on those tabs and this will adjust up or down. Now, obviously, when it's in your kitchen at a lower level, that's going to be much easier to do. But it's nice because you do have that adjustability. We also have an area that we can put ladles or knives up here. Or if we need to put taller glasses, we can put those in. Or even wine glass storage. And these are adjustable. So if you have those taller flutes like champagne flutes or taller wine glasses, these can adjust up or down. And then on the other side, what's nice is this is a removable knife rack. The bottom rack is going to have cushion tip tines, much like the top, so it'll help prevent rusting. There's an area in the back for cookie sheets that you can kind of lay forward. Great dishwasher under $600. This unit in white is $529. The next model we're going to look at is a Whirlpool model. This one is a model WDT750SAHZ. Uh, this model is a stainless steel with a curved handle. It's a nice clean look. Controls will be here at the top. So what's nice about this unit is it has stainless steel on the inside as well. This unit is just under $600 by a dollar. And the Middle rack on this is going to be adjustable, but what we add here is a rack on top for cutlery or small items like lids for sports cup or sports bottles or your Yeti cup, etc. The bottom rack on this, nice and open. There's an area on the left for cookie sheets or casserole dishes. There's a tine here in the back that will collapse. So if you need some extra storage, if you have a Dutch pan or a potter pan that may not fit properly, you can collapse that rack. Silverware basket on here is removable as well. So this is the Whirlpool option, great unit. This model Samsung is a model DWR2031US. This particular unit is also gonna be under $600. And what's kind of unique about this is Samsung has taken the best of both worlds. They're using plastic inside, which is cost effective, and they're using stainless steel on the door, which helps to minimize noise impact on the door. So this can be a little bit better insulated and it's gonna maintain a little bit more heat here on the door. The bottom rack, pretty wide open, pretty standard. Uh, you can put cookie sheets along the left or along the front. Plates will line up left to right. The top rack here is also great for, and as I reach up and over, this is going to be great for wine glasses. What's kind of unique about this, though, is in terms of an adjustment, you have to remove the rack. So what you do is you lift up on the left and right side without any dishes in, of course, because it'll be you know, very, very heavy. And then go ahead and just adjust it down. You've got an adjustment here or here. And then go ahead and, and make that adjustment. So it's a little bit different than what we had seen on the Beko or on the Whirlpool where we had tabs that would allow us to uh, adjust it up or down. But this unit does offer adjustability as well. Three level wash. We've got a wash arm on top, one in the middle, and one on the very bottom. And then our cycles are here at the top, just like we had seen on the Whirlpool with an automatic cycle, which is a great cycle on this. It's gonna automatically determine 
how much time, how clean or dirty the wash water is with a built-in turbidity sensor, and also what the actual type. So if your, your water is not going to be really, really dirty, that's going to cut down on our time. So that's the advantage of that turbidity sensor. If you have any questions about these or any other appliances, please comment below. Thank you for watching.